Hi, hello, Hi. welcome to everybody who is watching us live on Big Again, Alston's group. Uh, I mean, today we have a very interesting session uh, about one of the product that uh, has been making some noise in the community in the last few weeks. Uh, that is Triveta. Uh, in fact, uh, I am, I've been using some other uh, similar software and I'm, I mean, happy with uh, whatever that I've been using. Uh, but I came across the Trivita team uh, in the community and I kind of challenged them saying that, you know, you can't make me, um, you know, move from this product, you know, to the product, I mean, to adopt your product. Uh, but the team took it as a challenge and said, we will show you a demo and see how impressive, uh, how impressive this is. There are a lot of people who are using it, uh, uh, using it and, uh, you know, uh, doing meetings, collecting payments and all those. This is one software which can you know take care of everything together you don't have to have multiple software so they kind of took it as a challenge and today they wanted to make me change my mind so you know i'm i'm here with an open mind uh, to see you know how triveta is going to perform uh, so you know uh, i also have sam here with me uh, my colleague and uh, we will be talking about triveta please uh, keep your questions coming and uh, Finally, I mean, again, just to clear the air about the giveaways, there are a couple of tier one giveaways that would be given in this, uh, you know, during this session. And uh, as we had already decided, you need to be live in the session uh, to be eligible and to claim this, uh, you know, giveaway. Uh, so we, we are telling this upfront, you know, you need to be present in the live session because, you know, the draw of wheels also will happen during this session. So without much ado, uh, you know, welcome uh, uh, Ilya uh, to this session uh, on Bring Again and Alston's group. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing uh, seeing the demo from you. Uh, but before that, uh, can you tell us what is Triveta or why Triveta? Okay. First, thank you so much for having me. Uh, Triveta is a platform which is aiming to briefly you unify your uh, video calls bookings workshops payments everything in one place and uh, when we were thinking about the problem was last year at the beginning of the pandemic and many people were using zoom for almost everything right but it seemed it was very hard to basically schedule a call invite some people have all these meeting reminders and everything so people were still using emails, they were setting up groups, they were looking for different ways to uh, fit these video calls uh, into their um, lifestyle now that they couldn't meet uh, in person. And we just got together and we decided, okay, there should be a better way to do this. There should be some super, super easy two, three click way to uh, set up these meetings, to, to get booked, and um, also get paid if, if that's a part of your business. And that's how we started thinking about the product. And today we have already built it and are currently marketing it. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's what we were saying on the Fantastic. Well, welcome so, to uh, Lee. I, uh, sorry, I just wanna wanna make sure that uh, you know we we all connected so uh yeah i'm actually me and Vinke. we've been exploring a lot of uh online uh video tools uh, uh from the beginning and it's uh it's it's good to know that there is a uh tool that you know that does all sort of things and uh, we are excited uh in both of our groups and we are actually want to know actually how how all this is gonna like how this it, it works and um especially like um in terms of uh, uh the technology are you using behind uh on three vita uh, i'll be interested to know so uh good luck and you know let's uh, let's have some fun <laughs> So, uh, uh, Ilya, where is this team based in and how large is your team? And uh, uh, so if you can just throw us some light about that, in, I mean, that as well, that will be good. Right. So as many of the teams right now, we are quite remote and basically only two or three of the team members are at one place uh, at a time. And uh, on the project so far, 
there have been about 20 people working Okay. Um, out of which some some of them are full time, others have joined to different stages and um, are are just maintaining. And um, I would say our core team is about ten people. Uh, however, some people have joined for let's say helping with the mobile app, helping with uh, WordPress plugin, Chrome extension, and so on. And uh, we, we're very we're very flexible in, in, in this sense because we want to uh, get people on the team to perform tasks that they are very good at in order to, to build better products and not invent the wheel um, for every new feature that we have. And uh, we are based, so I am based in Sofia for most of the project. I was based in Rome, actually, because uh, with the current situation, you can be anywhere. And I've graduated from um, Bocconi University in Italy. So I have a weak spot for Italy. And I was spending some time there. Um, our CTO is based in Italy as well. Now he's moving to London. And we, uh, one other team member was uh, for, I think still is, in uh, the UAE, the United Arab Emirates. So we're all over the place. But if we have to say our origin, that would be uh, Europe, mainly. Nice. Yeah. It's, uh, it's nice, uh, you know, how uh, uh, things like business model like this, uh, a SaaS model can run and operate from a different, different world of the country and everybody can contribute. And it's, it's, uh, it's even sometimes we have a different mindset, but somehow it works, uh, works because uh, it's just amazing. Yeah, well, that's, that's not the new yeah, normal, so we have to adapt to this and make the most out of it. And you have a tool for this too, so which is awesome, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So this is quite important for our development because we're using the tool all the time in a very um, focused way, right? We, we are one of the use cases of the product. So we can see all its uh, benefits as well as its pitfalls so that we can quickly move to, to fix the problems and basically make a better product. Okay. So it looks like people seem to have some problem with the stream. We cannot hear anything and the connection is extremely... So why is it? We cannot hear anything and the connection is extremely so... Okay. Why, why is it so? Uh, I think you are also streaming to YouTube, right? Aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that, that could be. No, no, no. That's got nothing to do with uh, all these. Okay. So, so has it got any better? Can somebody tell me? I don't know because my connection seems to be pretty good. So, I'm not sure what is the problem. And, and in fact, I, I particularly like this comment from Joe. Uh, looking, I think you should see this. Looking at this stream's quality, I can tell who, who is the founder of a video company. Looks like, <laughs> looks like you know, your video is good and uh, Sam's and mine seems to be uh, not so oh, good. I don't really understand. I, I did recommend you to use 3 Vita to do this uh, event. Uh, if somehow we could make it work with that, that would be like awesome. Uh, but let's see. Uh, we can try. We can try. We can try, but so far you can't stream. So if the people want to join uh, a meeting there, that could be that could be a way to to go about it. Uh, I think it should it should have it should become better now. Uh, can somebody so. comment if we can just proceed? Okay. I, I think the stream is stream is okay now. I just saw it on Facebook and it looks good. Okay, so okay, fair enough. Uh, Ilya, can we very quickly get into your demo of your application? You know, can you just pick up a use Absolutely. case and show our community members as to how you know uh, Trivita can be effectively used? Right. Absolutely. So um, let me just share my screen. And once once you can see it, just let me know. Yeah. 
Okay, so over here I've opened our dashboard. So imagine that you've come to Triveda.com, tri you've created an account, and this is what you would see. You, uh, our dashboard is um, structured in the following way. Uh, depending on what you're interested in, there are different tabs. So we have your meetings tab, your customers tab, payments, my page, and um, the calendar tab. Now I, I will go in, in this demo, I will go through each one of those and explain um, how they fit in the whole system. Now, starting from meetings. So meetings, that's the most basic uh, part of the system. So uh, the video calling. And there are two ways to, to enter a meeting at this point. So first of all, you can click here, meet now, and that would immediately take you to your own room. So this is a static link, this is a static link, which is always at uh, the same location. So your domain name slash quick meet. And usually this is where I have meetings with my team, and uh, basically this is my permanent room, right? So um, I can join the meeting. Since I'm the one hosting the meeting, I can immediately join. If it was somebody else joining the meeting, they would knock and then I would have to approve them. The meeting itself looks uh, like this. I'm alone in the room right now. Let me see if I can turn on my camera. And... Um, I'm turning on my camera. I don't know if you can see me well, since we're sharing the screen and streaming on Facebook. So that may um, have a worse quality. Okay, somebody's knocking on the door. So that's Nicola from our team. I will allow him in just to show you how this works. Hi, Nicola. And um, yeah, so this is our video solution. Now uh, we've got, um, Mute and mute, different controls, camera settings, if you have more than one camera, screen sharing, chat, you can raise, a, you raise your hand or clap, let's say, if you wish. And there are a bunch of other options that, that you can try. Most interestingly, people really enjoy to select their background. So for instance, I can, I don't know, change my virtual background and you see this. Now I have to go closer and have a better background to for this to work perfectly. Um, and yeah, you can record the meetings, you can manage the quality, you can share YouTube videos as well if if you want. And right, so that's on the video part. I think you've seen other video solutions as well. We're quite happy with ours right now. Uh, we're quite quite proud of um, the the level. The, to which that we've gotten it. Right now, uh, you can handle 100 people at the same time in a live meeting, all of them sharing um, camera, audio, so a live, a live meeting with up to 100 people. And yeah, that was quite a challenge. Uh, before, um, I remember one year ago, getting 10 people in the me meeting, and it's a bit shaky, but uh, right now, uh, the situation is quite different. Now, speaking about the meeting, we are very, very big on personal on branding and personal branding, company branding. So what we allow uh, is to customize your whole meeting room. So for instance, you can change your logo and uh, the meeting background. That could be that could be fully branded as much as you want. Uh, if you ch if I change the logo to okay, let's say. Even this photo of mine, you see in the meeting room, this would be the logo forever. Many of our clients um, are using this to, to brand their rooms, build this extra authority in front of the people that, that they're having meetings with. Now, I will not save the changes because I want to keep my, my default ones. And I'm going back to the meeting stuff. Now, what are the other things over here? First. I can see all my upcoming meetings. Um, for the next couple of days, I, I've got a weekly, I've got a demo with Dennis who booked me, and I got a meeting with Sam next week. Uh, 
in the past, I can explore all past meetings that we've had that I have had uh, through the platform, and there is the cancelled tab. Obviously, meetings that never happened and were cancelled for one reason or another. Now, we have already seen how to meet now the, in the permanent room directly. Next, I will show you how to create ad hoc meetings, so uh, specific meetings for a specific use case. I click Create Meeting, and there's this very, very simple form that I have to fill. Let's say the title is um, Webinar, Webinar Test, and I can add any additional information, just showing the form. I can add any additional information. I can also choose the duration of the meeting. Uh, by the way, on Trivita, there is no limit on the meeting duration. Uh, right now, we have set uh, eight hours as the as the top duration. But um, if you wish, you can um, have uh, you you can just tell us, and we can remove this limit whatsoever. Now, let's say the meeting is a normal one, one hour meeting. From the daytime picker, I can pick when I want to have this meeting. Let's say um, today, 7.30 p.m. Um, local time. By the way, right now, this time is the local time of my device. This is how I have set it. And finally, I can choose whether this meeting is free. One person pays for the meeting or each participant pays. And I'm very, very happy about this feature here. Because uh, not in many places you see it. And what are the use cases? So free meetings, clear for everyone. Then, however, if you're meeting with an organization or you're hosting some event, um, maybe the whole company needs to pay. So one person pays for the whole event, although there are many people joining in. And finally, workshops work in the opposite way. On workshops, for instance, or personal trainings, let's say sports instructors um, have these kinds of things. Each participant has to pay. So each person joining the meeting has to make the payment um, separately. And we're providing for all um, possible all possible scenarios. Let's say this meeting is gonna be paid, one person pays for it, and I can set a price of a hundred. And then I choose the currency I want. We currently we're working with all currencies that Stripe is working with, and that's US dollars, Euro, um, even Malaysian ringgit. We have uh, all types of currencies. So let's say this meeting is going to be 100 bucks. I click Create Link, and this meeting now pops up in my Meetings tab with all the information which is regarding it. I can always uh, copy the link and send it to, to whoever, whoever I want. Now, if I join the meeting, it's quite important to notice that everything is on my own subdomain. So everything on Triveta is happening on your own Triveta subdomain. And this is a part of this whole white labeling and branding. So, so far we had the um, meeting room customization, but also um, the subdomain, both working in your branding um, efforts. Now, how about the other parts of the system? We have the customers. So over here, I have all the customers that I have been, uh, I have had meetings with in the past through the platform. If I check any of them, let's say Nicola, that, that you saw just now, I can see his email. Sorry for making it public, man. And uh, I can also add some notes. Sorry, Nicola. And I, I can save it. This is the total number of meetings I have had with him that have been specifically scheduled. Everything that happens in the permanent rooms is not locked here. Nicola has never spent any money on meetings with me, so uh, this part is empty here. Uh, we are working on making this dashboard much more useful, and we're actually meeting with our clients right now. We, uh, for the next week, we're going to be meeting with people using the system, 
and they will tell us how to make this better. So far, it seems that we will allow people to create different groups of customers, say internal, external, let's say design team, product team, if you're working with your team internally, or let's say um, clients from project A, project B, so on. Uh, we're envisioning some kind of labeling system with filters and a search bar. Right now, there's only the search bar that uh, you can use. Okay, regarding payments, we are working with Stripe and Stripe, we are a verified Stripe partner. If you go on stripe.com and you check the, the companies that Stripe recommends, you'll find Triveza over there. And uh, our system is very, very well integrated with Stripe and we are uh, pro processing payments through it. Therefore, each payment, um, no matter your plan, um, is having the, the Stripe, all Stripe security, fraud detection, fraud prevention um, capabilities of Stripe. And uh, if you want to manage your payments, you would normally click manage Stripe account and go to your dashboard over there. You can uh, issue invoices, you can issue refunds, and uh, basically manage all the payments with all the Stripe capabilities out there. Now, going to the more interesting bit, um, we have created two types of pages uh, that you can build to get easily discovered or um, be booked. One of them is the website builder. So I will now show you the website that I have built with Trivita. So this is my website. Very, very simplistic, but just a photo of me, about me, and a couple of services that, mm, that I have. Finally, a contact form. I have also a separate page, which is my booking page, and I can send to people my full website or simply the booking page with the, with the, with the two uh, bookable services that I provide. Since I'm um, a founder, let's say engaging in sales, uh, to me uh, there are two two important things that I do. I just like talk with people or I show them around Tibet. If you want me to show you around the platform, feel free to book to book, to book me over here on ilia.tibet.com/booking. Now I will. Uh, I want to show you how this looks for uh, this looks to um, customers. So, if somebody stumbles upon my booking page or I send it to him, they can simply click book, and they get this calendar picker. Um, I have set my availability only on uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. And let's say I want to book for Tuesday at 11 a.m. Confirm. Now, this is the point where uh, they will be asked to leave their email because our system works uh, heavily with email in the sense if somebody books you, they receive an email that they have booked you, you receive an email that they have booked you, uh, you both receive calendar um, invites. If you have connected your calendar to our system, it's automatically there. But for each and every of your customer, they would receive um, the time and day, they would receive uh, appointment mm, reminders, they would be able to reschedule, and so on. Now, since I already have an account, I would simply use uh, my account to, to show you how this would work. Proceed to booking. And I have successfully booked a meeting for obviously the December the 7th. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, if I go back to my dashboard that I was checking on uh, earlier and I go to meetings, I would see this meeting already, already here. So, Yevo Chow booked me for the Let's Talk service. Now, what if I want to edit these services. 
So how, how do I manage them? Well, I go to my page, my bookable services, manage services. Over here, they, there are several services and there are two live ones. So you can see that they're toggled and two that I have prepared for this webinar prior to this. Now I realize that maybe I should delete one and I should delete them and show you how to create a new one. So I click add new service and this window pops up. Let's say uh, webinar demo service. Let's say that this is the name. Here is already the pre preview. You can see that mm, how it's going to look on the page once it's live. I can set any description. Let's say modem ipsum. And finally, I can upload any image. If I click um, to add an, an image, I get thousands and thousands of images from, from Unsplash. So uh, these are completely free and they, they come automatically with our system. We have a very good integration with Unsplash and I can pick any, any service, a, any picture from there. Let's say I write demo and we'll stop talking. <laughs> and uh, I can, I don't see anything that I like here. So let's, let me write webinar instead. And let's see this one. I click save and you can see that my service is already shaping quite well. I can make it free or paid. Let's say it's free and it's a 90 minute service. I click save and that's all. Now, when I go to the booking page, it's already there. Anybody can come and book, book me for this for this service. It's that simple to create one in Tribeta. Now, since I don't really need this service because it's not a part of my normal workflow, I will just disable it. I will keep all of its info, but um, it will no longer be visible on my booking page. So that's for the booking pages. Apart from this, we were really, really, really excited about um, websites and we wanted to make this booking page uh, more glorious, let's say with more um, stuff. And that's how we started, we created this website builder that I built this website with. The website builder, I will go quite quickly. I realized that um, for many of you, you already have a website and that's not as interesting, but it's a very simple one and um, it makes your booking page much more uh, nice, let's say. So uh, you can pick the general feel of the page. Let's say with picking Valencia, I have this a bit um, wacky page in a way. I can pick the colors and everything. So the whole feel changes. I can also change the fonts. And then I just add a title, generic title. I can add a sub subtitle, let's say like this. Um, a short description about me, a photo if you want. And finally, the services. Now, services, they are taken from the page that we just saw a minute ago. So basically, once you set your booking page, you can uh, click here to show your services. Um, let me just, uh, yeah. So I can see my services or turn them off. So if I turn them off, the website becomes a generic website. If I turn them on again, it becomes the um, one with services. Finally, I can click publish and this would change my whole website. Certainly, I don't wanna do that. So I'll click discard all changes and go back to my original website field. Okay, so, so far we've seen the meetings tab, we've seen the customers tab, we've seen the payments and the booking page and website. Also, as our CTO calls it, the glorified booking page. 
And finally, there is the calendar. This one is extremely important because it makes all of the other pieces work properly, right? And uh, for instance, mm, here I see all my calendar. In the green ones are events which are coming from my connected calendar. So let's say I'm using Gmail or Outlook as my main calendar. I simply connect it to Triveta. Let me show you here in connected calendars. So I simply connect my calendar and then it shows over here. Whenever I have an external event that has been filled outside of the system, it would be in one color, in this case green. And whenever I have um, a meeting, which is from Triveta, it's in the Triveta colors, so purple. And finally, over here, so I can go uh, forward, see my uh, meetings uh, for later. We are actively working on making this page better as well. So that's not the final uh, version of it. And yeah, finally, we have availability. This is the worst page, uh, if you ask me, actively working on making it better again. But uh, here you have the hours, here you have the days of the week. And let's say uh, I have picked that on Monday from 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Uh, people can book me. And then the full working days on Tuesday and Wednesday. If I want to block some hour, I can just click on it, becomes um, green, and uh, people can book me. I can bulk block hours by just dragging down below. Okay. Finally, I choose whatever I want my final availability, click save the new rows, and they are saved. And yeah, so this is more or less the Triveta system. So everything you, you need to, to have calls, to get booked, to, to be online. Uh, so, so basically, if you don't have a website, we also provide this to, mm, to, to organize your customers to organize your payments, everything is there. And on top of it, we also have uh, Zapier integrations, public integrations. So if for some reason you need to connect our system to other systems, yeah, we're connecting with more than 5,000 other uh, software around the world. And yeah, I think that's the, the end of the demo. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Fantastic, you know, I think, uh that gave a very good account of what Triveta, Triveta can do. Uh, you know, it's been a lot of engagement. There's a lot of questions uh, that have been fired while while you've been, uh, you know, Me too. Uh, giving that. Not too many questions. And yeah. So, but primary one question, you know, which is there in everybody's mind, including me, is, uh, is there a C name option that is available? Can we use our own? Yeah. Okay. So right now, uh, what we've got is the first steps towards this. So we have a, uh, you can iframe the, the system so you can uh, have it on your own website through an iframe. We also have a WordPress plugin that is coming up uh, this week or beginning of next week. And the next step in this full white labeling would be the C name. Right now, it's not there. However, uh, we are working on it. Okay, fantastic. That's what so, I wanted to ask. Iframe, so it's already been answered, which is good. Love it. <laughs> there is the iframe, guys. You, you, yeah. Let me. Can I share my screen again? Yes, yes, yes. Please. Yes, you can. Uh, yeah. So, I just want to show you a website. So that is one of um, our websites, and it's in Bulgarian. Sorry, just testing stuff on it. So if you click here, which is, which means book online, and if you click it, you're basically going to um, the page, uh, a booking page, which is iframe. So it, it looks like this. We are also, so I, I can't, I don't know if um, I can show you this, but a very sneak peek in the, in the Triveta WordPress plugin, 
So that's the WordPress plugin that's already built and we're just testing it out right now, bringing it up quite soon. You will be able to just uh, copy a short code or, be, or um, yeah, you just copy a short code, add it to any page you have, and you basically have an iframe. So yeah, that's that's already there. Um, maybe 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 in two or three days it's gonna be live on the WordPress marketplace. Wow, that's excellent. Okay, really. That's excellent. Okay, so uh, I mean I think you answered this question based on the demo. They also would have understood, but then anyway, this question is so is this a virtual meeting calendar? Which I believe is yes. Uh, virtual meeting calendar. What, what what do you mean by this? Yeah, it's a it's a calendar for fixing up virtual meetings. You know, that's what this Absolutely. application and does the Absolutely. virtual meeting as well. It is just not like you know, book like a boss where you can only book meetings. You know, you can also do meetings in this platform. Right. So uh, our platform works extremely well. If you want to book meetings and ha ha handle them, have them on Trivita, everything is very very well integrated. You know, you have the meeting link. It's sent in the emails. It's in the calendar events. You click on the calendar event and there's the link to the meeting. So very, everything is very well um, done. However, we will be adding just now, we, we just had a team meeting and we'll be adding this option to have other events. So if you don't have virtual events, but anything else, you can just uh, create one. Fantastic. So this is the question from Aditya Sharma. Uh, he is given a suggestion. The continue as guest link that appears when participants are invited. Please make it a button and a bit more prominent, or at least increase its font size. It's really small. Yeah, even I felt this because it has been it is very small, you know, just under it. I, so if you can just make it as a button, because most of the meeting attend attendees they would not want to register, uh, you know, unless and until they want to use the platform. So it's easier for us to invite. Uh, so if you could make that happen, that would be good. It's a suggestion. Almost uh, everybody, uh, you know, asks for it. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Yeah, so um, our vision for this is to, uh, to to have two two buttons. One would be continue with uh, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn. So it would be a one-click join. And below it, there will be another button, continue as guest. And we're, we're still integrating those, and that's why it's not the final version of it. It was this, um, I would say, quick and dirty fix to just add this continuous guest tiny text before we finish the whole feature, but have it available for people to continue as guests uh, for now. Fantastic. So, uh, I mean, I'm just clubbing few questions together. You know, it's all about payment gateway. Now, I believe that you have Stripe uh, integration. Uh, so, uh, you know, people from India uh, are asking if you would integrate Razor Pay as well, because uh, Stripe and PayPal are... Uh, not so good in India. Razorpay is one of the very popular payment gateways in India. So do you have any plans of integrating more payment gateways, especially PayPal and Razorpay, at least for the people who are in this session? I think these two payment gateways are on top of their mind. So are there plans to integrate more? Yeah, so if you check our product roadmap, which could be, find, uh, which could be found on trivita.com, prodcamp.com. Where can I can I just send it in the chat? Uh, just I'm just trying to get my way around here. Uh, uh, I have no idea. Nicola, can you please send the the, the, the thing? Yeah. Because uh, I, 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 yeah, 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 I got it. In fact, uh, Nicola has already shared this uh, in the great. The, okay. In the chat. So great. So in the product roadmap, you can, you can see the things that we have committed to do and PayPal is there. So we are committed to adding PayPal integration, Razorpay, um, it, like we have not thought about it so much because this is actually the second time, only the second time that somebody has requested it while PayPal was requested multiple times. So right now we're focusing on the um, adding PayPal instead. Fantastic. So, uh, I mean, I must appreciate uh, your team for the plan uh, because I really like the plan because based on the tires, it's only the users. Uh, I think all the feature remains the same for whether you are buying one, I mean, or you are in the 
tier one or in the tier 10 or whichever it is i think you know you're giving all the features there uh, so unais is asking uh, will the part meeting participant size go beyond 100 or will it be fixed as 100 or you know if you buy acquire if you buy a higher plan will it be more than 100 are there any plans for that in the future yeah so uh, we also get this question quite a bit but what what we believe is that a meeting a live meeting with live video and live audio where uh, multiple people can speak and exchange ideas is uh, is usually a smaller meeting you know 5 10 20 people tops and if you have more than 100 people that becomes a webinar you know it stops yeah. being this it stops being a meeting and it becomes a webinar at this yeah. point i would say that we are not a webinar software um and uh in the future we have been thinking about it however um n- not n- not this year for no. sure you know okay. <laughs> so so generally i see that you know if the but number of participants increase more there will be lag and there will be a uh, problem you know having videos and all those so uh, are you sure that if you have 100 participants there you know, we will not have any lag or there won't be any quality drop when we use trivita yeah well uh, it all, always depends on on the connection of uh, everyone involved but generally generally we have tested it with 80 90 people so okay. we, our limit was our limit was let's say 150 something like this then we just put a hard hard cap at 100 100 so it should be it should be fine keep in mind that the more people you have in the meeting some cameras will be automatically stopped to save bandwidth and save everybody's internet okay and yeah so yeah so this is a very interesting question sajwal has asked everyone recommended me triveta as Eleven site alternative. Eleven site is another application which does similar to what Triveta does, or you know, probably without the booking uh, this thing. But I'm confused now. Does this do instant calls like Eleven site does? Yeah. So uh, since I haven't used Eleven site's instant calls feature, I'm not really sure what it does. But if if it means you click a button, you enter the meet a meeting. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Okay, this is uh, another question that probably is running in my mind also. Are you planning to add FB pages and groups for streaming because uh, you know, can we use Trivita uh, to do a event like this instead of uh, say we are rest. So are you right. planning of streaming adding streaming to FB pages and groups and also simultaneous simulcast. Uh, you know, would that be Uh, I mean, are you planning to have that? Is there is is it there in the uh, roadmap in the near future? Yeah, it's actually one of those things that uh, we built. We have it, and but we have disabled it because right now um, it's a bit expensive. Uh, the whole server infrastructure to to stream, and uh, we're thinking about allowing this maybe in um, two or three months from now. However, it will be paid. by the minute so if you stream for 60 minutes it would be let's say one dollar but if you stream for a thousand hours you would have to pay more right <laughs> okay yeah fantastic so i think uh, you answered this question but anyway uh, i think hilaria has asked uh, so i hold a lot of meetings online with people i support because i'm ab- unable to go out, uh, due to covid how many people can i have in a room at once so it's 100 right Is a hundred people. A hundred people. Yeah. Okay. I think you know another community member has already answered, but uh, okay. This is uh, uh, another question from Aditya Sharma. What are the dimensions for meeting backdrop image? It will be a good idea to mention it somewhere in the meeting customization page. Uh, first is a question. Oh, second wow. is a question. So, what is the dimension for the meeting drop back, backdrop image? Yeah. So uh, this is this is a very it's a more design question uh, generally uh, the, the the window that you're using for the meeting is it depends on the screen of your device which means it should look good on a phone it should look good on a tablet it should good, look good on 15 inch or or 24 inch uh, therefore i highly recommend using either 
the templates that we have or an image which is um, repeating in some way so that uh, you, you have, um, let's say your logo repeats 10 times, 15 times, something like okay. this. Yeah, because dimensions with uh, like whatever image you put there, it will work. However, keep in mind that different devices have different uh, screen sizes and you have to look good on all of them. Okay. Okay, this is uh, a question from one of the users. Would the calendar automatically link to the room if there is an emergency meeting? So people don't have to type a code, but just click on the link and enter the room. Um, yeah, so the, the links work like this. They just click, they go to the meeting room, but they still have to uh, knock on the door. There's always a waiting room that we have and we don't have plans on disabling it because yeah, you, the host, like whoever is hosting the meeting, or if many people, or different, several people can be hosts, somebody has to let these people win, right? And Fantastic. yeah. Okay, so I think this again is a, a nag that people are having. Why such a long form for signing up clients? Uh, so for sign up, clients don't have free time to fill such a long form. There must be name and email and that should be enough. So I believe there is a... Yeah. Well, right now it's, I believe it's name and email, isn't it? I think it is. But let me let me quickly check that. Uh, yeah. yeah, I will just check that real quick and let you know. Because we've been actively working on it and and that's why I'm I'm not sure which one is live on the website. But yeah, so right now we have name. Last name, email, and password. So we have four fields. And okay, yeah, so last name is not, last name is optional, by the way. So it's basically a first name is required, email, and password. Okay, and as, I, as, as I said before, uh, you can sign up with Google, and maybe in, a, maybe in a week or two, we would make it that uh, the first screen they see is sign up with Google. Yeah. yeah, so this is the, this is the form right now. It's, yeah. It has four fields or sign up with Google. Fantastic. So, okay, Shadjwal again is asking a question. Uh, if someone books an appointment, would it, would it gray out so no one else can book that slot? I mean, I think yes, absolutely. Problem, right? Yeah. That's, that's, that's one of the main features, yes. Yes. Okay. I think uh, during your demo, you handled this as well. Does it have a buffer time between meetings and cutoff time while booking? Yeah, so uh, buffer time between meetings, that's something that we want to add quite soon. And maybe it's going to be up in, I don't know, the next two months. But uh, right now, no buffer between meetings. Very soon, there will be. Okay. So... Uh, again, one more question from Sajwan saying, does your team or agency plan have multiple workspaces? Yeah, so we got this question. So we're currently working on the team plan. It's not finalized. However, the way we want to do it is if you get, let's say, two or three, um, if you have two or three different organizations, you would be able to quickly switch between them. So, yeah, the, let's say there are different workspaces. Okay, fantastic. So, again, you know, I think we discussed this before. Can you please consider Razer Pay for Indian customers? Uh, again, this also we ask any payment gateway integration services which are available apart from, okay, I mean, now it's Stripe and uh, they also are looking at PayPal. This is a very interesting question. Any plans to add SMS reminders via Twilio integration? Right. Um, so we're thinking in this direction as well. However, you know, there are these two, two points that are clashing. One is make the sign up process very easy. And the other is uh, make customers leave their phone number in order to receive SMS reminders. And we're currently trying to find like the balance, like should we ask for even the phone or should we just let them to continue as guests? 
And once we have enough customers that give us feedback, we will basically do whatever they want, right? So if enough people want SMS reminders, that's that's gonna be up. Fantastic. So right now, uh, only email reminders. Okay, this is a question from Genie Platform. Uh, uh, is there any limits for services? If yes, how many services can we use for listing? Are there any limits for your, for the number of services that I can have? Yeah, arbitrarily, we have chosen a limit of 12 services, but if you need more, send me an email and we will allow you to have more. There is no actual limit. Okay, fantastic. So, Ginny, I hope you got your answer. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so this is, I mean, as I complimented somebody saying, that's actually great to have all features even on a single code. I think that's really appreciated. Thank you. So this is another question from Sajwal. So can I make it so four users equal to four workspaces, basically any account being into agency or team account, or is there a minimum tier limit to get agency plan? Well, if you're a one person uh, team or workspace, like, uh, yeah, you're basically one account. So let's say sure, no problem. Okay. So can we live stream interview or call on Facebook? I think we this is, we spoke about this earlier. So they, you know people want to stream from their uh, from Triveta. Yeah. So we will be. Uh, so we have this feature. It's not uh, live yet. However, once it is live, it will be paid by use. Uh, pay for use okay so uh, any chance of adding chat everybody believes that this is a very very basic and essential feature and uh, would you be adding uh, chat soon to the application yes i want the chat very much as well but uh, <laughs> just email our cto we want chat and uh, <laughs> we'll see what we can do about this <laughs> but we definitely want to add it yeah that was you know the initial idea of the whole uh, platform. We wanted to have a very nice um, integrated chat. Okay. So this is again a question on uh, integration. Uh, Sajwal has asked about uh, Pabli, I mean, uh, automations with Pabli integratedly or Integromat. I think Ravi also has asked the same question. So yeah, uh, I believe there is Zapier already. So are you also having plans of uh, integrating Pabli integratedly and Integra Integromat? We are already on public as well. So if you go to public connect, you'll see that we're already integrated. We're now integrating with connect IT and integrating Integromat, maybe, maybe in the future. Uh, I think public and Zapier are enough, but if people want more, we'll give you more integration methods. Fantastic. So, uh... Okay, I think you answered this question. I think it's in the roadmap. Can I do booking through widget or a WP plugin? Yeah, WordPress plugin, it's done today. I'm t I was testing it right before the webinar, giving feedback to the diffs, and then uh, maybe it's gonna be live in the next couple of days. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay, so again, Sajwal has said, uh, Continue as guest is very important as much as I would love to farm email addresses. No use of those if they don't take, take the meeting. Okay, so I think that he's given it as a feedback. Mm. Rajesh has given a feedback. He says that you need to improve recording uh, to local computer as I tried a couple of times, but it did not record uh, at all. And uh, on another instance, it recorded only early part of the meeting. So what he says is he's been having He's been having a not so good experience with the local recording. A uh, couple of times it did not record. And once it recorded only uh, the early part of the meeting and it did not record the whole meeting. So he wants you to just look at it and improve the recording. Uh, yeah. So right now we have two types of recordings. One are the cloud recordings, which are paid by, by uh, paper use. And the other type is the local recordings. So local recordings are still in beta, and when you click the button start recording, this big pop-up is like, be careful, this is still in beta, and uh, we, we are constantly trying to make it better, of course. There is a very, very detailed guide with all the pitfalls that are currently not working so well. Make sure, make sure you read it, and 
of course, keep in mind, since you're locally recording, if your RAM memory is not enough, it will cut off the call because you're recording locally. And yeah, if your computer doesn't have enough RAM memory to do it, you will not be able to. Okay. So, uh, Hilaria Asumu has asked, does it transcribe the meeting video? Uh, together with the live streaming, Facebook, on Facebook and YouTube, this is the same story. Like, we have the feature, disabled, it is disabled. We're looking, we're tinkering how to price it. Probably it's going to be pri uh, uh, paper use again. Okay, I think, uh, you know, that's all with respect to the questions. It's been a fairly engaging uh, discussions that we've had. Uh, the roadmap uh, <coughs> URL is available on the chat. Uh, you can go and uh, have a look at the roadmap. Roadmap seems to be pretty impressive. Uh, in, I mean, and, uh, uh, I mean, I think, uh, the, uh, except, I mean, there's been a lot of good feedback that has also come from various users, you know, who have been using and particularly with respect to the plan and all those. And there are certain nags as well. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, you and your team have noted down all those with respect to what people are undergoing, uh, so that, you know, you can fix it at the earliest and also, you know, your commitment towards the roadmap, you know, in terms of the WP plugin or live stream or, uh, you know, integration of uh, uh, payment gateways beyond Stripe, you know, those are probably most sought after by the community. Uh, so I think uh, we, okay. Uh, so, 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 I mean, whatever questions that has been answered, you know, if you have questions beyond that, please do drop it in the video, whether it is in Bring Again group or the Alstons group. So make sure that you are commenting there, Nicola and, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Ilya and Nicola and uh, and the Trivita team is looking at the questions and they will be answering it anytime. And in fact, Nicola is right now uh, in the live chat as well. He's trying to answer it, you know, beyond Ilya answering it live. So keep the questions coming so that, you know, it, you can get everything answered by the team. Uh, so we budgeted uh, for an hour and I think, you know, we, we are just at the end of the session. So the coming to the most important, uh, um, you know, sought after portion of this meeting. Uh, so, you know, we are going to give away two codes of tier one, uh, two tier one codes for two lucky winners uh, who have been watching this live and should be available live now to claim the code okay so i mean i've noted down all the people who have been participating so we are closing the registration now because any more we will not take so we have got 22 people who have been engaging on this live session so i've got uh, the names of all those people on my screen <coughs> there you go so on the screen, so there are 22 people who have been engaging on this. So I'll probably give you a minute to look at their names. Uh, you know, if your name is present, if not, please comment now so that I can enter it uh, there. But, uh, you know, you should have commented earlier as well. You know, you can't enter it now. So Ilya, can I spin the, spin the wheel? Spin the wheel. <laughs> okay. So. There you go, Sam. <coughs> can we spin? Okay. I'm. I'm actually. Yeah, go ahead, spin the wheel first. <laughs> stop! Stop! My goodness. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my god look at that okay Ruraj, you are you are one the first uh, please comment on the live stream to claim your code rituraj please comment on the live stream in whichever stream that you are watching in whichever stream that you are watching to claim the code Is he Adi, here? Congratulate him early, huh? Yes, he still have not commented. Oh. Let's go. 
I'm checking if he's uh, there. No, <laughs> it, uh, it, uh, <laughs> oh my god, these guys are hilarious. No, no, and I think there is, a, there is a I'm delay in, in the Facebook listing. We will give them some time. Okay. Rituraj. For sure. Okay, so I'm sorry, Rituraj. You know, there is no, uh, you know, you are not there on the live <laughs> session to claim your code. Unfortunately, we need to spin again uh, to find the first winner. Once you spin it, you'll come. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah. Yunus. Yunus, Yunus Gadiali, you are one. Uh, the giveaway, please comment in whichever, please comment in whichever, uh, you know, live stream that you're watching to claim your code. This is exciting. <laughs> yes. He was there all this while. He just commented a couple of minutes back. Unais. <laughs> Come on, no. Unais. Come back to us. <laughs> This is funny. Munais. Okay, so. So, Sam. Let's see. I'm checking. Like, I don't see. I, like, I'm checking on Alliston Group. Uh, yeah, you know, he's, he doesn't seem to be there. Okay, we'll have to spin again. So, Rituraj and Munais. Probably. Oh, guys, stick around, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, remove. I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, I feel really mm. bad, man. This music is good, man. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Shizu. I know Where is he him? No. Oh yeah, oh. he's online. He's online. He's online. I know he's online. <laughs> I think Z I know he's online. Z T. Z T. If you are there on the live stream, please comment and claim your code. Please. I don't want to spin more. I know. He 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 is live. I can please. see he's, he's, oh, he was live. Please. He was commenting. Come oh, here and claim it. Claim it. <laughs> Beautiful. Come oh, Rit Rituraj came back. Oh came my back. god. Oh, Z. oh okay. yeah, he's here. He's here. He's here. There. No, he's not claimed here because he said, Yeah. Where has he, he commented? Yeah. He commented Alliston Group. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. He's, he said thanks. Oh, did he? Ah, yes. Yes. So Z gets the. First code. Uh, now for the second one. Oh, okay. Okay. This is getting exciting, man. Okay, uh, we're dancing with dog here. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, we're going full, eh? Fernando! <laughs> Fernando! Come on, claim. Fernando, claim your code! Come on, Fernando. I don't think he'll do. He was there, yeah. He was commenting as well. Oh, oh my too bad if he's not there. Fernando, claim your code. 
so much, so much pressure and suspense. So Rituraj is back actually, unfortunately now. <laughs> well, you never know, he might win again. Uh, Fernando, okay, should move we it. move? Move, yeah. Okay. So, it would be fun if you, if just uh, at the end, you and me left. <laughs> yeah, man. So let, let's one more time before we give up on the code. Okay, that's it. So, so one more spin uh, for the second chord. I actually want uh, uh, the uh, Rabi, Rabi to win. Rabi, I think, is going to win this time. And he's gonna claim it. Come on, Robbie. Oh, oh okay. Oh. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. Let's see. He's there. He's there. Genie platform. Claim your code. Genie, hopefully, he doesn't miss it. Yeah, no, no, no. He's there. He's there. He's there. Genie on, platform. Genie. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, Genie. Genie or Guinea, Guinea. Come on, Guinea. Come on. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just just let's see. Some somebody yeah, wrote he's, he's commented, right? He did? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he has. Oh yeah, yeah, he did. Perfect. Right Happy for you, buddy. Yeah, I'm not able to see the name. Can yeah, he, he, he just replied. Sam, thanks. Is that from Genie? Yeah, it's from uh, from uh, from Genie. Genie, yeah. From yes, yes, it is. He confirmed. Please, uh, you know, share the code with Z and uh, Genie. Uh, yeah, I think uh, yes, Genie has commented. So here it is. Thanks, Sam, Vicky, Nicola. Yes. Okay. Okay. That that ends the session. So very exciting one, and uh, with some anti climax and a good climax as well. Unfortunate that a uh, couple of people were not able to claim the code. Uh, but I think overall it was a very engaging session, you know. And yes. uh, we will, uh, you know, thoroughly enjoyed Nicola. I mean, sorry, uh, uh, Ilya and. Uh, Thank you, Nicola, for coordinating everything. And, uh, you know, he was the one who was communicating uh, to ensure that this session happens. So thank you. And uh, you've also been engaging all the participants by commenting with them in the Facebook groups as well. Uh, so thank you so much. And uh, thank you, Leah, for your time. And uh, thank you, community, for uh, supporting us as always. Uh, your support makes us bring a lot more applications and you know, bring a lot more interaction with amazing founders like Ilya and amazing products like Trivita. Thank you so much. Good night. Good morning and wherever you are. Thanks so much. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.